My name is Eugene Fongwa. I am the Director on Climate Change and Development Specialist at the African Knowledge and Policy Center based in Yaoundé, Cameroon. Four months into the COVID-19 outbreak, the light at the end of the tunnel is still a flicker. Nonetheless, policy interest is slowly shifting from response to recovery. Important lessons are also emerging. For example, it is now almost obvious that despite progress in wealth building and leaps in technology and engineering, the world is not ready for large-scale disruptions such as what we have seen with COVID-19 uh, global health emergency. It is also clear that greater interconnectedness and integration of places and sectors has left everyone vulnerable, even if unequally. In Africa, where prevalent poverty and weak infrastructure have left millions exposed, building resilience will have to be the centerpiece of every recovery plan. Uh, this will entail not only investing in healthcare or jump-starting productive sectors, but also addressing the drivers of vulnerability such as poverty, uh, gaps in knowledge, weak contingency planning, and inadequate institutional capacities. Solutions will need to be integrated. They will have to be long-term. But more significantly, African nations and perhaps the rest of the world must pay greater attention to the climate emergency. In some cynical ways, COVID-19 is the foreshadow of what a climate meltdown might look like. And with little progress in emission reductions or in helping poor countries to build adaptive capacities, the future is all but reassuring. It's now left for leaders everywhere to choose between falling back to the growth models that have created gaping inequalities and in weak societies, or to undertake the bold reforms needed to shift course to a more inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future.